Hello there, everyone. You want to play a little game? Patriotism is dead. There's only rebels and tyrants now. Strange. A world ready for the righteous and the pure to inherit. Don't believe in surrenders. No, I still got my saber, Reverend. Didn't turn it into no class yet, either. I'm taking over this territory. So, here's the game. Okay. So, your country has picked a fight with another country that has about three times your population, has an industrial just arms base. It has, um, it outclasses you in every way, shape, or form. And you have $20 million. What do you spend that $20 million on, huh? Hmm? Well, hold on to your answers because that is going to be answered by you here. Highgrove House, the family residence of King Charles III and Queen Camilla, was recently sold to Volodymyr Zelensky, the president of Ukraine. This I want to know, this is coming from the press of Ukraine that's always saying, give us more money so we can fight and defeat the Russians here so they don't have to fight them at home, or now Europe doesn't have to fight them in their own countries. Rawr. We need more money. Give us more money. We need more money. Give us more money. So if things were so fucking dire, Mr. Zelensky, why are you buying a $20 million home? Um, and, and this is ironic. I, I did a little bit of math. So for $20 million, you can get... Um, so there's grade three body armor that probably comes with uh, the, the chest, the sides, and the back, swimmer plates, as they're called, and, and the vest that goes in grade three body armor um, for 439 a unit. So with that 20 million, you could have bought 40, if my math isn't correct, um, you see it on screen here, 45,558 units of body armor that could have went to the front to assist his troops but if you haven't caught on by now um it, it's a big ponzi money washing scheme uh vladimir Zelensky, his cabinet the elite in ukraine get to enrich themselves get to buy themselves mansions yachts um uh palatial estates while the ukrainians sacrifice their lives uh, their health, losing limbs, family members, and now uh, recently um, they're training 15 to 16 year olds to go to war against Russian infantry. And I've even seen clips of them conscripting mentally retarded people to um, send them to the front. So if Ukraine was in such a dire situation, again, Mr. Zelensky, why are you spending $20 million to buy King Charles's the third estate? When again, remember, this is, I can't get over the fact that this guy is grifting off the Americans, the West, and NATO, saying we need money to help defeat the Russians, when he spends $20 million on a fucking mansion. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I just thought I would share that. And what a load of bullshit. Um, and how much shit Vladimir Zelensky's full, like, he's full of it. Um, <laughs> just remember that next time he's complaining and, again, you know, uh, belly aching about, we need more support, if, if we have more support, we can defeat the Russians here. You know, it's bullshit. Um, you know, f fake voice he puts on for everyone. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, that's, that's it for this video. Uh, a, a guy whose country's in such dire straits at war with another one, about 10 times the size and about three times the population. Anyways, and Zelensky isn't the only one treating himself to a palatial estate. Have a look at this.
some opinions on some more closer to home domestic stuff. Um, let's take a look at what's going on in California, shall we? We had walked up and those close signs, that was it. 20 employees and the more will let go today because the owner says he could not afford to pay them with that increase. Now employees are upset, saying they were blindsided when coming into work. Fox 26 reporter Sophia Lessers explains why those employees were... See, this is the funny part, because this is where it's bullshit. Because everyone knew that thing, the wages were going to be increased to, I think, what, $20 an hour? Leaving mom-and-pop franchises like this not being able to afford to stay open or keep people hired. Um, anyway, so this, this, this is Sophia, kind of funny. Surprise. Yeah, Monty, former employees tell up, me right? that at first they thought it was an April Fool's joke, but that quickly changed when their boss handed them their final check. I was so caught off guard. Um, we had no type of notice, no type of warning even. Um, I mean, the owner had told me Happy Easter. Employees at Foster Freeze and Lemoore say they're now out of a job. We had gotten a text in the group chat that we were um, shutting down and I completely thought it was an April Fool's joke. Turns out he wasn't the only one. Did you guys think that this was an April Fool's joke? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I thought like, you must be joking. You must be playing with me. But this was no joke. By the time I got here, there was people like in uniforms ready to start their day, not knowing that they w that would be their last check. Monica Navarro, the former assistant manager, says when she got to the restaurant in the morning, the locks were being changed and employees were handed their final check. I had walked in and he had just immediately was like, you guys are out of a job, like, I'm sorry. While we were there at the Foster Freeze restaurant, owner Lauren Wright was walking out. I tried to get a statement. I think he's gonna take off before we even get to a chance to talk to him. Excuse me, Lauren? But he quickly drove off. Yeah, there's no point to talk to your ass because I think he owned that business for 20 years. And so now he has to pack up his entire dream of that owning that business and hiring people because California thought in their uh, infinite wisdom to increase the minimum wage for fast food workers to $20 an hour, which, of course, um, is just going to result in people being fired, uh, businesses going under, and um, businesses being automated so they don't have to pay $20 an hour. And this is going to lead to more unemployment and increase in um, the amount of money you have to pay for meals now. Uh, so congratulations, Californians, you bunch of fucking idiots. You, you really outdid yourselves this time. You, <laughs> you raced yourself out of the job market. But remember, it's, it's, it's us yokels and us dumbass rednecks in the flyover states that... Oh, we can. Mm, we're smarter than you. <laughs> so, anyways, that's that's the situation California's in. Uh, uh, if you haven't by now, if you're a Californian and you haven't gotten the fuck out, I don't know what you're doing. Flee while you still can before they wall it off, like in fucking East Germany, and don't let you leave. Or they incur taxes after you move, like what New York does. So, um, yeah. It's, Things are going great here in the United States, aren't they? Future looks bright.